So we're here at Arm TechCon. So who are you? Yeah, I'm Paul Neal. I'm the uh, VP of Product yeah. Management for um, Exmos. So what is Exmos? Uh, Exmos is a multi-core microcontroller company, and we've just announced our newest product, Xcore XA, which brings the multi-core microcontrollers that we've got and combines it with uh, an ARM Cortex M3. So uh, this is it? Yeah, this is the development board here. Uh, what we've got is um, our high-performance um, X-Core I.O. and a whole load of um, ARM I.O. Uh, associated with this. And this is our um, first product in this product family. So is this the first time you do ARM? Yes. Um, it's the first time that we brought our um, own um, microcontroller architecture and integrated it with uh, the, uh, the ARM M3. So so you have your own microcontroller architecture, what does that do? So it's a very, very high performance, very good for hard real-time problems. It's very, very flexible, defined in software. But at the same time, it's completely programmable in C. So you know, for us, it's a very, very familiar environment. And actually, it's a natural transition for people who are used to programming um, processors like the ARM to come and program the X-Core as well. So uh, basically you have two solutions in one, or how does that work? Yeah, um, actually what we have is our, this is what we want to look at, is our, um, uh, an eight core device, where um, these are our own proprietary 32-bit risk architecture, um, and the eighth core is an ARM Cortex-M3. They're all connected together with this very low latency switch, um, and we can use the low power capabilities of the ARM subsystem or we can have very, very high performance um, hardware I.O. So for hard real-time problems, we can use the X-Core capability. So it's a very cool solution. So what's the purpose of adding ARM Cortex-M3? Well, um, a number of things. First of all, um, it provides the ability for developers to use lots and lots of legacy code that they've developed, bring it to the X-Core architecture. Um, it enables us to deal with um, you know, some very, very interesting applications, you know, when we're talking about the Internet of Things. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and I think we're done. <laughs> yeah, that's okay.